Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching VHS TV today. Today is Monday, March 8th. I'm Nina Sturwald. And I'm Kylie Green, and here's what's going on at VHS. This Thursday, Video Game Club will be having the Wii Sports Olympics. Make a team of four and compete in baseball, tennis, and bowling. The first place team will win a prize. Sign up in Mr. McCollum's room C2402. All are welcome to participate, and they hope to see you there. Congrats to the VHS choirs who competed at Avon over the weekend. The blend was second runner-up in the concert division. Bel Canto was first runner-up in the concert division. Bella Voce had the highest score of all large school festival choirs. Angelica White was named best performer. Starlight Voices was first runner-up in the large unisex division. Darian Bigaman was named best performer. Spotlight Singers and Company was first runner-up in the large mixed division. Taylor Williams was named best performer. Nice job. Bulldogs for Life is hosting a baby drive for mothers in need from Monday, March 8th to Friday, March 19th. All the donations will be given to St. Gabriel Project, a charity that helps young mothers in need. Items needed are baby clothes, up to two tea diapers, wipes, new bottles, new pacifiers, baby toys, blankets, and towels. Items can be dropped off in Mrs. Noviak's room, A2420. Students taking the SAT at East Middle School this Saturday need to meet at door number 7 at 7.45 a.m. Testing will begin promptly at 8 a.m. Students will need to bring their photo ID, admission ticket with a photo, number two pencils, and a calculator for testing. Are you interested in traveling to Costa Rica and Panama over Spring Bank 2022? If so, please sign up for the information meeting on Wednesday, March 17th at 7 p.m. The meeting will be over Zoom and will cover all the details of the trip, including the locations, dates, the cost of the trip, including how to get a $200 discount and more. If you wish to be a part of a Zoom meeting, please follow the link on the screen to sign up. Signing up will allow us to send the Zoom link directly to you via email. If you have any questions or need more information about the sign-up link, feel free to see Mrs. Moeller or Mr. Friedman. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is having a food drive collection until March 12th to help supply Cornerstone Christian Church's food bank. Priority items include hamburger helper, canned tuna, canned chicken, canned soups, and canned fruits. Items can be dropped off at FCA meetings or Mrs. Woodruff's room. Any donations would be appreciated. The VHS Cafeteria will be celebrating National School Breakfast Week this week. The week recognizes the importance of a healthy school breakfast in a student's life and the impact it has inside and outside of the classroom. Breakfast is free, so it is a good time to head to the cafeteria. Make sure you go through a register. They're featuring two new breakfast items next week, breakfast pizza and fruit and yogurt and a waffle cone. Student government chain link is looking for diverse students who wish to represent their entire class and be a voice for leadership within the school. Chainlink provides opportunities for school involvement, community service, and leadership responsibility. To join the application process, please see Boffman in B1202 or Padgett in B1312. Deadline is Friday, March 19th. Team 2022 and Team 2023 students, the Hendricks County College and Career Fair is coming up on Tuesday, March 9th. This is a free virtual event that would be a great opportunity for you to check out and continue to narrow down your plans for after high school. Register for the evening virtual event at henderscollegenetwork.org slash fair21. Man, I really could go for a summer night movie marathon. No kidding. BHS TV's Allison Nelson got a closer look at the possibility of a theater reopenings and streaming services. 2021 is supposed to be a big year for movies, but how are we going to watch with theaters closed? With summer just around the corner, I caught up with some students to ask their opinions on theaters and streaming sites. During March of 2020, we officially went into lockdown. With limited ways to pass time while remaining inside, many, if not all of us, turned to streaming services such as Netflix for fun. Netflix alone went from 76 million users in 2019 to a whopping 204 million users by the end of March. So I prefer HBO Max just because they have a lot more variety, I think, than other streaming programs, and probably Disney Plus because WandaVision. I'd probably have to go with Disney Plus just because most of the stuff that I like to watch is owned by Disney, but Netflix also has some shows that I watch. Like YouTube, that's pretty much it because uh, I have YouTube Premium, so like sometimes I'll use like, but I don't really watch movies. Movies on there. The popularity of streaming services have been a rising threat to local movie theaters for a long time. With the addition of COVID-19, theaters like the Regal and Avon, Brownsburg 8, and the AMC in Plainfield were forced to close. All across the U.S., indoor theaters lost thousands in business due to the forced shutdowns. I think the last movie I saw was Tenet, and I definitely miss theaters. The last movie I saw in theaters was probably Pixar's Onward. I miss, like, the snacks and being able to see movies on a big screen. I don't remember the last movie I saw. That's how long it's been. And yeah, I do kind of miss it because, you know, I like going to the theater. Some theaters are beginning to open back up, with the rest to follow by the end of the month. Some movies coming out in 2021 are Black Widow, Suicide Squad 2, Corella, and Candyman, with many more planning on releasing. I'm excited to see all the new movies and the theaters opening back up. Allison Nelson, BHS TV. Thanks, Allison. I'm really looking forward to seeing movies in theaters again. Yeah, me too. I cannot wait until the summer. 
Now it's time for sports. Hey, John, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys, it was another exciting weekend as the boys basketball team was in sectionals at Avon. After defeating Terre Haute South on Friday night, the guys advanced to the sectional 12 finals against Plainfield on Saturday. In a low-scoring game where both teams had trouble finding points, the Dogs ended up falling 29-28 to the Quakers. Pierce Thomas led the way for the Dogs, scoring 19 points and 4 rebounds. Luke Lacey added 5 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 steals. Thanks for the great season, guys. And thanks to the seniors for their dedication over the past 4 years. Let's take a quick look at some of the starting dates for BHS Spring Sports. The track teams will get underway on March 25th against Westfield. The softball team will also start on March 25th hosting Hamilton Southeastern. The baseball team will also host Hamilton Southeastern in their first game of the season on April 7th. Boys Golf hosts Brownsburg Invitational set for April 10th. The girls tennis team will also host Westfield on April 13th. Good luck to all the spring athletes as they prepare for the upcoming seasons. The girls club rugby team is looking for new members for their upcoming season this spring. Rugby is a fun sport with a family-like culture. New players will easily be taught the rules and basics of how to play quickly. If you're interested in joining, check out their Facebook page for further information. That's it for Sports Today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, John. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.